Hey everybody, I'm APH and welcome back to what I'm affectionately calling Beaver Mountain. Now in the last episode, we went ahead and got some farms down. We got our, our actual forester to get trees replenishing. We had our first drought and we kind of got into some research. Now in this episode, we have to get into a few things getting ready for the future. First of which is, well, our potatoes are ready to harvest. We need to get our actual potato grill down. And I'm thinking right over here next to our houses is going to do. It will require a little bit of wood. Now we do have some logs in storage, but these trees are not quite ready. I actually wanted to bring you back when these trees were ready, but the fact of the matter is the potatoes are ready first. So what we need to do first is move this lumberjack hut and place a second one down over here on the other side of the river. So let's get that going. Let's go ahead and remove this first one. There we go. And let's move it up here on top of the actual hill. So let's place a path. Because what we want to do in the future is we actually want to get to a point where we are to this metal. Because what we want in the future, I don't think we're going to get there this episode, is we want to get to dynamite so we can bore a trench from the water over to this and build a reservoir. Let's get our our actual lumberjack hut down, and let's mark these trees for harvest. Oh good, they're already marked for harvest. Now we can probably, once this is built, we'll see how far the span is, and then we'll go from there. Our next area that we want is over here. We want a lumberjack hut right on the edge. Let's go ahead and spin the map around a little. Excellent, and let's go ahead and harvest these. Now, this side, I want this to be an industrial district moving forward. Let's go ahead and grab these trees. Excellent, and let's go ahead and speed up time. Yeah, this side of the river, we can probably allow... Oh, check that out. Potatoes are harvesting. Not any sooner did we get it down than the grill is going. That is amazing, and... Let's go ahead and queue up these water wheels to get built because we're going to move. We're going to leave this actual lumber mill over here, but we're going to move another lumber mill over here, getting ready for gears because taking a look at gears, it looks like it turns planks into gears. And the process that I'm the total that I'm looking at is looking at landscaping for dynamite. I need an explosive factory. And for explosives, I need gears and steel beams by the looks of it. And then it turns paper into, into dynamite so that I can actually use it. So today in this episode, my goal is to get to paper and to start making my path over to this metal a ruin. And on this side right here, Let's grab the levies. Let's go ahead and unlock them now that we've got a little built, bit of built up research. Let's start blocking in this area in preparation for what we're going to do. Because we're going to bore a path straight across. So we're going to need levies in this whole entire area so it can flood. And then the next time we have a major drought, I want to make this even deeper. So I want enough concrete enough concrete, enough dynamite to make that happen. Excellent. These trees are being removed, and for right now, the plan is to let them be removed and not replace them, because what we want to replace it with is the actual... Well, let's, let's uh, actually put it down. Our first one will be a an actual lumber mill, and I'm thinking something about let me spin this around so I can actually see it. Like this, where we just have a gear that moves the actual, the power, the power wheel into the actual lumber mill. So let's take a look at power and I believe it's, yeah, power shaft turn. Let's go ahead and angle that the way we want it. And let's mark these trees for removal. There we go. This way they don't grow back. Now, I don't want to go past the area which the forester is uh, working. That way, 
you know, we can actually move ahead, but we want to allow him to get the wood that we need while we're waiting for our forest to regrow. It's a, a little bit slower than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. Looks like some of the trees are up to 70%, so soon this should be ready, and then we should have a constant supply of logs. Oh, and look at that. Our levies are coming in. Now, I was looking at the water itself, and there's a water pump, and I don't think that this is a viable option, as it would require us to have three water pumps over here in order to support the actual water dump over here. And I'm not sure how long that would actually take, so I'm not sure that's viable. Our path up here is ready to be extended. Now, taking a look at our actual building, yeah, it looks like it extends to the edge there. Let's get a stairway down. Got a little bit of research left, so let's go ahead and spend it. And now we can start clearing down the trees down here. Let's go ahead and queue those up. We're making progress here. We are making progress. Now, how far is the actual range? Maybe once the stairs are down, the range will be extended. But either way, soon we'll be able to move this further out. Back to our area over here. This tree still needs to be cleared. I'm out of workers at the moment. And what I'm thinking is we've got a space right here where we can actually build on top of these buildings. Let's go ahead and do that. So under our actual pass, let's use our platforms to create a walkway up here. And we'll go something like this where we place a stair here. There we go. And then we'll place once we'll once we get this tunnel board, we'll repeat the same on this side. But for right now, we're just going to put three houses on this side over here. Excellent. Our first water wheel is down. Now for the actual lumber mill. Now from what I was seeing, if I place the, the gear shop up against it, it will actually transfer the power. Got a little bit more research left, so let's go ahead and spend that. Yeah, shares power with adjacent building. So no need to actually connect it with a camshaft. Let's get that right there. Let's get our roads in. And I, what I'm thinking, 250 for the paper mill. I'm thinking that we can butt the paper mill up against the back of this and do something about like this, where we put down a small warehouse right here. Maybe not right there. Maybe it would have to be right there. We're going to need a an actual path right there to make this happen. Let's place a platform. Then we can place a road. This is what I'm talking about. I'm thinking that the paper should be able to fit right there. This would complete this little block. The two water wheels during time of non-drought should power these. I'm liking the way that's looking. Now, if we get a few more houses, what we can do is maybe place a temporary forester over here to help out with the fact that this is just taking a little bit of time. Oh, look at that. Our trees are hitting adult. Excellent. This area is pretty well cleared out. We do have a road down. Let's go ahead and move that further down the way to try to extend this. So let's go ahead and grab that next lumberjack hut. There we go. That will move it all the way down to the, pretty much down to where we want it. Now, I think what I was seeing, taking a look at this, we're, we're down to here from our actual district center. We may need, I think it was in pass, a actual builders. Maybe in labor? Yeah, builders. Uh, employs additional builders. Extends the range of, of by building pass. Mm. Speech is not my thing. Employs additional builders, extend its range uh, by building paths. So what we can do is we can spend an actual 100 research, which we have, and with some actual logs and planks, we can extend that. Now, I don't want to do it quite yet, as we still have some room in here for 
additional workers that we haven't quite hired yet. And I don't want to overwhelm our system as we are not quite ready for it yet. Look, they built this house, but they didn't build the path up to it. Speaking of paths up to it, let's go ahead and place paths down. Now, I know the path automatically generates on the stairs itself, so we don't have to worry about that. But as soon as that's open, I want that to go ahead and start populating. Excellent. Now, these just need some logs, which we're slowly getting in. We might want a second lumberjack over here. I think that would only make sense. And where we could probably place it is over here in this area that's not very fertile. Yeah, check that out. We only need an extra person to make it happen is as this gets built, that should take care of itself. We should get an extra nine people. Now, granted, they are going to start out in the child children phase, but that's okay. Our, our plan is coming together. We are starting our route over here. This needs to actually build, but I think that's just because we have a lot queued up. Let's go ahead and prioritize the stairs. Oh, I don't even need to do that. They're going ahead and building it right now. Oh, look at that stream of, of beavers going into the actual grill. Now, what does that do for our well-being? Looks like we have nutrition too, but our aesthetics is dropping. That kind of makes sense. And our social life is also dropping. Probably as we're hitting more people as adult. We probably need a second fireplace in somewhere. Now... I know we can build on top of buildings for aesthetic. Looking at decorations, it looks like we just had a notification that our next drought is coming. We can, for 150, we can unlock a 3x2 roof or a, a 2x3 or a 3x2. Let's unlock the 2x3 and see if we can place it on this building. It looks correct. Yeah, that looks good. Give this a little bit more character. We may want to place one over here as well in the future, but for right now, I'm going to leave it. Got a lot of things queued up, and that's going to really affect how quick we go as we need to actually get these filled. Speaking of that, they just filled up. And what I want to do first is as we get a few unemployed, I want to go ahead and put them in our district hall as actual workers as we have... A vacancy in there. What? Did somebody pass away? Oh, and we just had somebody grow up on 214. Excellent. Ooh, 214. Does that mean that it's a Valentine's Day in the world of beavers? That's pretty cool. Now, what do we do next while we wait? I think we start actually placing down our stairs here to make our pathway out to this. Now, we need a platform first, probably. Yeah, that looks about right. Let's go ahead and place down this path and this, and then we'll path it all the way over. Now, taking a look, I'm thinking we follow this ridge line pretty much all the way over to... I'm thinking... This spot right here. So let's go ahead with our levies. Spin our map around so I can actually see what I'm looking at. And we'll take it right up to that point. Now what I'm not sure of is if we have to connect them. Or if this suffices on the angle. So this is something that I'm going to have to see going forward. Or if you guys know, leave a comment down below and let me know. Because I would really like to know that one. Oh, I've got another notification that the drought is just a day away. Yeah, let's bring it to right here. Part of me wants to bring it around, but I think that's a little too aggressive to start with. So let's bring it to right here. I'm getting a notification that it's too far from the path, but that probably means that we just need to actually build our way first. There we go. 
that should turn this whole entire field into a fertile ground. And where we can go with that is we can build roads over here and create our next section of town. And up here, we should be able to also create another section of town. Ah, the drought has started. Now that unfortunately means all of this will eventually turn off. Let's go ahead and undo carrots, berries, bread. Grilled potatoes, we can store them in the actual uh, grill itself. I believe the grill, yeah, holds 120. I'm, I'm hoping we don't need more potatoes than that. It holds 30 raw potatoes. And the conversion is one potato, one log into four baked potatoes. Grilled potatoes. And the actual farm holds 50. Now, it's, right now it's holding 50 carrots, which is fine. But in the future, we can switch that around. Let's go ahead and turn off our water pumps and we'll let our, our water supply start to go down. And what we should look at is do we have the ability to make bigger water storage? Only 120. And it looks like it just requires, it requires gears. Now, we haven't actually made any yet, so we're at the, the actual... Waiting for the drought to be over is what my mouth is trying to say. So let's prepare for that by... We'll go ahead and unlock it. And let's place a few down. Let's get two right here so that when it unlocks, we can just get started right away with them. And that should give us our storage for the next drought. Now, we're going to need extra actual water pumps to maintain that. Completely just spun that around the wrong way. Yeah, let's place it this way. That should get an enough, and then we'll connect our road. I do want this area to mostly be an industrial sector, but that would make sense having water storage over with our industrial area. We've got our path. Let's see how far our actual town hall builds. Now we can extend it a little with roads. Let's see if it builds enough. And I'm thinking we're going to need roads up here as well. Just to maintain. So taking a look. Oh, barely to the edge. It looks like the majority of this area. So as we get a couple unemployed, that's where we're going to place them. And even unemploying the, the water pumps that we did, the, just push workers into other jobs. So we've got at least two slots where we need adults in order to move forward. And oh man, we are out of water that quick. Let's go ahead and reactivate those pumps. I had no idea it was going to uh, take that much water that quick. I don't want to lose uh, beavers to, you know, dehydration. We lost one to old age. I almost freaked out for a second there. Oh, look at that. Oh, God. Might be okay. We've got some logs. And we're, we're producing planks still. So at least that's okay. We just need to get that water back in. Yeah, mistakes were made there. Now, what does it take for this actual wheel? 50 logs. Yeah, let's go ahead and queue that up and get it going. It, now that we've got a, a decent supply of logs coming in. This one can be removed as this area is cleared out. It'll give us an extra worker back. This area is also cleared out. Let's go ahead and remove him. And let's extend our road down to the metalworks down there. Now the big question is, does that give us enough area? Yes. Looks like we're getting a red line, so it's, it, it's at the edge. We may have to put a hauler or a, an actual, some sort of a builder closer. Oh, we've got thirsty beavers. We have one unemployed. Now, granted, yeah, one unemployed. Let's go ahead and throw it in that actual district hall. That seems like the right thing to do because when they're, when they're not working, they'll transport is what I was reading. The drought is ended and water is starting to come back down. Let's place 
another research over here. I want that science to come in a little bit faster. Yeah, we'll place it right here next to the stairs. We'll go with two of them. That seems like the right thing to do. Another forester. Maybe we need one for over here. Only requires logs and planks, which we have some planks. We have some logs. Let's get it queued up here. And what we'll do is on this side, we want those maple trees. And we'll go ahead and queue up this area as maples. It's going to take a while to actually get going, so I'm not too concerned about putting a forester over here yet. But that should maintain for a while as our pines take care of us up here. Looks like they're getting so many planted every day and so many are hitting adults. So the one lumberjack's hut is probably maintaining. Oh, we do have two of them. That works. Oh, look at this. They're starting to build. I'm liking that. Now I see pegs. Oh, that's right. I might have built that a little too high. Yeah, looking, I built that a little too high. Let's uh, Let's fix that. I was building it to this cliff and didn't realize that I was building it a little too aggressive there. Now I think if I do this, it's going to take one off. Yes. Let's do that for this row as well. That looks a little bit better. We can... That's something that maybe down the future I'll, I'll do is raise it up even higher. But for right now, I just want that first height all the way across because I want this to be a giant water and what we may do in the future is looking at the fact that we can place double high uh, platforms we may look at placing some houses on top of the water itself I think that'd be cool looking we've got four unemployed let's go ahead and move the inventor to the top of the list and then we'll move the forester over here to the top of the list as well rather more resources quicker than building this section of future reservoir as we're not quite to metal yet taking a look i believe paper is next oh i just found a hotkey that turns the screen still learning all the hotkeys that is a huge thing so paper looks like we have enough horsepower to drive it and then it leads us to printing press, which gives us knowledge. We've got the 250. Let's do it. Oh, that fits in there like a glove. Excellent. Just what I wanted. Now we should be on to a scavenger hunt, which is another 250. And then a shredder. What is that? This isn't turtles, but it looks like it turns two scrap into one steel beam. And it requires a lot of horsepower. Now, I don't think these actually produce that much. Yeah, two of them together would be 360. So it might be enough to... Two of them might be enough to maintain it. But I don't know that we have room there. I'm thinking over here. So taking a look at our power. We could unlock a large windmill with 1400. That's actually a lot. 120, we could unlock a small windmill. Unique to the faction, that's good to know. And what it would take is two windmills to almost power that. Now for the scavenger hunt, it, uh, scavenger flag itself, it's going to take 250 research. So that's going to take a little bit of time to build back up. Uh, our first inventor hut is done, while well, our third in total. I knew it would be key to get more down, but I didn't know it was going to be this quick. Taking a look at our our actual well-being, it looks like our social life is starting to actually dip down. Let's get our second campfire. And we're just going to go ahead and place it right kind of adjacent to the first one as logs come in here. We'll go ahead and move it up the priority list as well as fixing the forester. Then the campfire is still above this project. This project can kind of be a back burner thing. Excellent. This is all moving. Now, I'm pretty happy with the fact that we're only going to have one building for 
maintaining all of our extra logs, not our logs, our our extra planks, gears, and paper, while the other one maintains food. I think that's a good decision. Water I needs to get sorted for the next drought. What do we need? We need gears. And they're beginning produced. So that's just a matter of time. All right, no more waffling about that because it will happen naturally. This, let's move it to the top of the, the, the food chain as well. That way, once these are built, they can actually get going. Our food looks amazing. We have tons of carrots. Wow. Water is still iffy. The... I don't know what that... Oh, this must be raw potatoes. Yeah. Took a moment to populate. I want to wait on any more houses until we have the this tunnel down. Now I'm thinking what we're going to do is a section by section, which is why I built this road all the way around. We'll take this section right here, dig it too deep, replace it with the, the double platform. So I'll need to unlock them at some point in time, rebuild that section of road. Then I'll do this section, the two here, two down, and then I'll come in here and do this all the way across two down. So I'll probably start in areas like right here where there is nothing and start the trench and then do it a little at a time. Part of me says we need to move this row of houses first to make this happen. That way we're not disrupting the houses once everything starts. I don't want to place them on this side as that's industrial. We could place them over here. On the back of the inventors. And then what we could do. Let's get three of them queued up. Let's go ahead and. Place our. Our path first. Kind of thinking out loud as I do this. Let's move this one to the top, and as they finish, what we'll do is we'll eliminate a house at a time. Because then this path will be ready for the future, and what we can do long term is something like place our actual foundations here and place the an, a rooftop terrace on these. Just thinking to the future as a way of actually getting more social. Again, something for the future, just kind of future planning there. I don't want to queue up too much as what is still an issue. And it's going to be continuing to be an issue until we get this area completely filled with trees in this area is maintaining. Now, we still do have a few trees in here. And let's see if we can get them removed. Yeah, they're queued up. We just need an actual... Forester over here to make that happen. Let's look at extending the path by one. Dropping our next Forester right here. This way, once the area is done, he can just immediately go to town. And we'll look at a few more maples. Kind of right in this area. Just right up to the area where the actual infertile uh, goes. This area is pretty cleared out, and I'm okay with that. That was kind of the plan, because I want probably from this line over to be nothing but industrial. But that would make sense. Let's get a an actual storage here for logs. This will be our second stockpile. And then what we'll do is once we have a abundance of unemployed people as we only have a, a slight abundance right now one person isn't an abundance at all it's reality we'll look at placing a either a another builder's hall over here or a a hauling post because i know that the actual builder hut will actually double as a hauling when they're not being used or the actual hauling will Looks like they're the same price. 
but this employs more people and greatly increases the productivity. How big is that? We could place it there. I'm, I'm curious if we could get this to be right there in the future. Probably, probably not the best way to actually do that, and this area is pretty cleared. Let's go ahead and drop our next section of maples in there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and close off our overlay. They're building. Our first house is done. Let's go ahead and clear this one out. And let's go ahead and move this one up the priority list. Now I have two homeless at the moment. I think we're probably going to maintain two homeless for a while as we, we start this. And then once this path is clear, we're going to go ahead and extend back into having these houses there. Or we'll look at something else. We do have in the... In the actual housing, we have not just the the lodge. We have the mini lodge, a double, and a triple. So I, these will be things that we have to unlock. We do have a bit of research now. Let's unlock the scavenger. And let's get that place down. Now for the shredder itself, we still need 350. And then we would need the... The power to go with it. Let's unlock the windmill. Won't place it yet. But that kind of gets me to where... I know once we get to 300, we can unlock the shredder. That's kind of my line of thought there. Try to start getting everything unlocked as fast as we can in that route. Both inventors are up and going. We are... No actual unemployed people at the moment. We have no homeless at the moment. Let's uh, move this one up the, the process. And as soon as morning hits, we'll go ahead and remove this one and get them moved over. So just waiting on logs. Now we... Yeah, look at that. Let's go ahead and delete this one out. Let that build. Once that's built, we'll start extending our pathway. Yeah, still one homeless. We have four kids, so we in the future we will be in a place where we can we can maintain and that house is done. So now under our actual paths, let's get these platforms up and going. Let's try this again. And what we'll do is we'll place another row of houses on there just like we did with these. No. No, back to the plan. Back to the plan. Let's get these. Rooftop Terrence is down. That way we can really push that that entertainment. Now these take logs and planks and they're really cheap. Let's go ahead and prioritize these up and prioritize those rooftop Terrences. Probably should take this and just extend this and make it all low priority so that we don't have to actually fuss with it, we can just let this finish at its own pace while we're getting ready. Paper mill needs some gears, some logs, and some planks, which makes sense because they're working on the actual large tanks at the moment. Which it's, one's, one's up and going, the other one's getting going. We probably want another water in here somewhere as it looks like we're we're maintaining water, but it's not going up extremely fast. So that's something I'll have to actually think about where I want it, because I don't want to cut into my my crops over here, and we got this area pretty well full. Maybe an issue where I have to remove a couple trees. Speaking of trees, that tree is ready to be replaced with a maple. And I think what we're going to have to do is when we once we build our path this way and fill up this, I think we're going to have to come back this way and look at building a path over here. Now we do have a, a drought forecast coming up. And I think this is a good spot to go ahead and call this episode. I'd like to thank you guys for joining. And we'll see you in the next episode where we're going to get into steel production. Have a great night and we'll see you tomorrow.